What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life TV with Poetry. I am Poetry. You are here for a travel and talk Tuesday. I know it look a little strange. I'm busting a you right now, but I'm already at work. My cell phone dead. It was stone cold dead this morning. Um, I can't find my, my the charger that goes to my phone. First off, so. It's making it a little difficult for me to charge my phone properly because it's one of these high speed, I guess, charging cables or what have you. So anytime you plug it up to one that's not a high speed cable, it drains the heck out of it. So I'm on my way back to the office right now. I figure I'd go ahead and do a little recording because I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. Oh, y'all, I need to park my car. I need to just park it for about a good week. You don't have a stop sign. So what you stopping for? <laughs> I need to park my car for a good week. I need to park it for a good week, at least. Because I've been stressed the fuck out driving in Orlando. This place is hideous. Let me tell y'all. Dynamic bus company. Bus driver who was driving number 742. Tried to kill me the other day. And I'm not exaggerating. That motherfucker tried to kill me. We get onto, uh, we're going down to John Young Parkway, right? My old high school principal name was John Young. I wonder if he was named after whoever John Young is. But he was on the John Young Parkway. And I'm already on the in the lane that's heading to the entrance ramp to the 528, right? He right here next to me. You can see his whole, all his tires, everything. The motherfucker jumps over. Like, I literally had to jerk my car over to the side of the road so he wouldn't hit me and i'm thinking maybe this motherfucker didn't see me i know i'm in a little silver car you know the sun may have been beaming only reflecting off of it indifferently causing a causing a reflection that i wasn't used to or they weren't used to with the normal human eye and he didn't see me that's what happened i know that's what happened right we go a little further down the highway i'm pissed mind you Something said, take a picture of this motherfucker. So I took a picture of him when he got in front of me on the highway. Snap, snap. And then got on the side of him. I said, you know what? Snap, snap again. I took another picture. And I kept riding. Riding, riding, riding. Now we're going down the 528 to the I-4. Going down to the 528 to the I-4. I get closer to my exit. I'm going to the right, to the west. So I get over in that lane. There was nobody like immediately in my lane when I got over. I just, I did the signal turn and everything. And I, and I, and I merged over. And I'm riding. I'm riding. Then all of a sudden, I see homeboy, the bus, the dynamic bus number 742, pull up alongside of me. And then you hear him gunning. <laughs> First, I thought he was having transmission failure. I didn't know what was going on. Then I realized, this motherfucker's testing me. You know how you be at a red light, and maybe, you may have, oh, you may have seen this. You had a red light, and somebody in a sports car, and they pull up next to somebody else with a sports car, and they want to, like, test you, so they, they rev their engine like that. He kept doing that, but as we driving, we already do, we doing 70 miles an hour on this highway, right? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is with this motherfucker, right? But I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. This was Saturday. That motherfucker came at me again, right at me again. Veering me off into the damn shoulder again. Now this time the shoulder was real short. Wasn't a lot of shoulder. So I had to slam on my damn brakes. My neck is stiff as fuck. At this point I was like, oh no, I gotta call the motherfucking police. This motherfucker's trying to kill me. I gotta call the police. So I got on 911, called the police. I don't know what the fuck they did. They supposed to be calling me back, but they haven't. But I'm gonna call them and get the doggone police report number because I also called Dynamic Transportation and filed a report. And she was like, "I know which driver it is. I'm a um. When the police call you back, make sure you call us. Let us know what happened. I already know what it is because they they trying to make sure I'm not an insurance risk. Ooh, big ass bird, big ass motherfucking bird. Watch what you. We got them cranes down here, y'all, with the red hair hair." And it was crossing the road. And he was like, bitch, I'm stepping out on faith. You wasn't at a crossword, Bobal Bird. He was not at a crosswalk. So I was like, I, I... <sighs> second incident yesterday. I'm at work. I was having a bad day, y'all. Uh, like I'm, I'm getting better in my mental state, but I had like a little a moment of um a moment that set me off a little bit and I had a crying bout. 
So I was at my job and I was like, you know what? I need to leave. I got in my car and I was going to drive off. Now they're doing uh, construction on our parking lot. And this guy driving, not a bulldozer, but he got like one of the scoop thing, mess things. He's on the opposite side of the parking lot from me. I started to back out the park space. He started going back. I'm leaning in my horn like, hey, motherfucker, I'm here. He pulls forward. I pull forward. Now check back, make sure, okay. So this time I'm blowing my horn before I even go back. I go back, soon as I go back, back. Five times, this motherfucker almost ran into the back of my car. And it's almost like he was waiting on me to pull back. So it took me a minute to get out the spot. So I'm already frustrated and crying. Now I'm more frustrated on top of the crying. He drives off after the fifth time and goes and parks down behind some other vehicles. I drive over there to them like, motherfucker, you almost hit me, bitch. Like, you know, I'm mad. Oh, I didn't see you. That's because he on his fucking cell phone. Oh, I tried to find the foreman. I tried to find the foreman. I couldn't find the foreman. Maybe the foreman was on break or lunch. But if I see that motherfucker today, I'm reporting that ass. I'm reporting that ass. Is it Outside of those two incidents... <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Just random motherfuckers almost running into my car trying to punk me on the road. It's a daily situation. And I need to park my car, y'all, for at least a week just for peace of mind. But because I drive my car at work like I'm doing right now, it's difficult for me to do. But I'm like, I want to Uber it, catch a bus or something for at least a week. I probably have some new headaches with the Uber or with the bus, but damn it, not behind the wheel of my car. Ooh, I mean, I've been so frustrated with that that I don't even know what the fuck else happened this weekend. Um, I think I told y'all like at the end of January that my dishwasher went out. It was making a loud noise. My landlord still ain't fixed it. I'm renting the house right now. They still ain't sent somebody out to fix it. And I called them up yesterday like, damn, what the fuck gives, you know? Uh, last time we spoke was January 31st. I reported it on January 29th. Um, now they got a work order to have somebody come out there and repair. No, motherfucker. Get a new dishwasher. This bitch is old. It ain't even It ain't even digital. That's how, you know, they don't even make dishwashers these days. I don't think that's not digital anymore. It ain't even digital. It got a slide handle to lock it. It's old as hell. It needs to be replaced. I have standing water in the bottom of the dishwater that's been there for 12 days now. 12 days. My mama thinks that she just spotted mold in the closet. I'm not sure what it is, but it don't look good. So I don't know if I need to call a mold remediator or something like that. But I know if you call a mold remediator and they come out, they could they could evict you from your house until that shit gets fixed. Then we'd be homeless again with a cat and a dog. So I'm trying to tread lightly on the mold thing, but I can't have my I need to get my if I get my lungs tested at work, I'm not at work at, at the uh, VA, then they could probably tell me if I have any traces of mold and that could probably be beneficial. Uh, and then they would have to put us up in the hotel. Um yeah man it's just been crazy i got like a wire popping up out of my yard like and i guess they bury the utility lines in the ground here and i don't know how this wire decided just to jump out on his own but it did well we had the electric company finally came out they came out probably about seven o'clock last night it was dark it was, no, it was eight something it was dark as a month it was dark 30 and when i talked to them it was like 12 something in the afternoon he's like i'm gonna send somebody out right now and I asked my mama to open up the gate. What did my mama do? Nothing. To my, I unlatched it. No, you didn't, because I had to go out there and unwrap the shit. My gate is kind of faulty, so we got it wrapped up with some damn wire so it won't open up so Vito won't get out. No, you didn't. You didn't even unlock that bitch. I still had to do all that to get the man in the damn gate. I'm like, I said, open. Open means open that bitch up. Not just unlock it. Open. But, yeah. So, this video is going to be real super short because it only takes me 15 minutes to get back to work from where I was at. And I don't know if he's going to send me back out on the street just yet. And I may have a, like a waiting period before I actually go back on the street. And I can't put y'all on pause because when I put it on pause, then it'll cut off after so many minutes on its own. It automatically cut off. It just won't stay on pause. But um, I'm going to get a massage today. I'm going to get a massage today. I'm going to find one of these little spots around here. I don't want just the regular. I like the foot massage because the foot massage, they get your head and they get your scalp and they get all that. It feels good, but I want to get naked. I want somebody to lather my body in a bunch of oils that's hard to wash off and really need getting deep up, move my muscles around. I need that. I need it. I need that.
you know, I y'all know I used to go get massages like every week or every two weeks back in St. Louis. Since I moved to Orlando, I've had one massage, and that's what we did for Keena's birthday at that spa. That was heaven, but that cost a lot of damn money. I need to go get one that's gonna be like fifty to seventy-five dollars an hour at max. That's what I need, to go. and I'm going to get one of them. Keena going to get her eyebrows done immediately after work. So if I get off by two, that'll buy her some time. I can go find me a massage, and then by the time she get done with getting her eyebrows done, I'm still not doing my eyebrows, y'all. These mugs coming back in hideous. I'm gonna have to like give y'all a really good close up one day. Y'all can see that the original girl had my shit stopped right here. And when it started growing back in, it looked real functified. So functified. It was really funky on my face. And this one is all extra bushy, but it's like my eyebrows. I'm all light skin. I need the damn eyebrows and stuff. Where they come back in? And I'm like, goodness, this, this how much hurt? Then I took off my face. They really thinned out my brows. So I don't know how long it's gonna take. My biotin journey ain't been going as it's supposed to be. I'm on a cobblestone road. Give me a break, y'all. Um, and I don't have the mic in. I, uh, let the, I put the mic in earlier. And y'all sounded like y'all were um, coming out of transistor radio. Have you ever... And the speaker was busted. That's what it sounded like when I played back the little five seconds that I did record earlier. Oh uh, man, so yeah, hopefully y'all can hear this. Hopefully the sound is not going out because we ain't did this without the mic since I bought the damn mic. Um, but I got a replacement at the crib already if they sent me two in the box. So if they should work out fine. But um, yeah, man, yeah, I'm going to get that massage and I'm hoping to feel good. But I was going to, I was talking about the biotin. Me and Keenan have really fucked up <laughs> with the biotin. We both took it day one, y'all. That's it. We have not taken it anymore. Oh, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about a little bit about why it's so hard for us to stick to this journey, which y'all already know I don't like to take pills, so that's part of it, but still. But at the same time, we got a good measurement. Since we did not take the biotin for the first week, we can measure our hair to see exactly how long did it grow without the biotin. And then we'll be on a 21-day journey instead of a 28-day journey. You know, that's the excuse we use and then we stick into it. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we'll come back with that later. Um, man, I sent out a shout in my last random ride to work video for, um, I asked my viewers, you guys, my lifers, I'm calling you lifers, that's what I decided to call you. Um, that if you know somebody that likes to watch the content that I put on this channel, a TV show that you're familiar with that they like, um, I'm asking people to invite them to the channel. It'll be up to them or what they not want them to subscribe. I just want the invitation. And see if they like something around the, the channel and hopefully i can build this channel up a little bit more um and that probably will force me to stay more consistent uh people ask me to do the walking dead recap like immediate after it goes off i normally don't do that and i did that and it's like the viewership on it is super low so i'm gonna go back to the way that i was doing it it's gonna come on mondays like it used to be um the passage i gotta watch that again it was so good last night I gotta watch that again so I can actually do the recap in uh, full. So that'll get done this afternoon. Um, something else comes on Monday night. Black Lightning. You gotta watch that. You won't get that to Thursday. Um, then American Soul, Roswell, and This Is Us all come on tonight, Tuesday night. There's a lot of TV going on in my life right now. I'm watching too much TV. I think about it. Um, after I get my massage, after I take Keenan home, because we both maybe gonna get off around the same time. I'm going to the library and I'm trying to stay to at the library till it closes. No, I can't do that. I just said I got to do the passage and something else. I'm going to go to the library for at least an hour and get an hour in. I might start having library chronicles for y'all books because some crazy shit be going on at the damn library every time I'm there. Okay, y'all, I'm back at work. I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. This is Traveling Talk Tuesday. Y'all have a great week. Peace.